So um, today I'm going to grind some deer meat. Uh, generally in the past I don't, it's been a long time since I've done any of this. I don't usually like ground deer meat, especially uh, processed ground deer meat. That's what I've had a few times in the past 15, 20 years and I just don't like it. But I recently we had some, me and my dad had some that we'd ground ourselves and added just beef fat to and it was really really good so I decided to make some myself and I did and brought it home and everybody liked it and everybody went crazy over it so I've got a little bit of deer meat here not very much but I've got some and I'm gonna add this fat to it uh, and grind it and we're gonna wrap it and freeze it but I'm gonna save a couple of them out and we're gonna eat them for lunch so I'm going to cut up some more of this fat and put it in there and get ready to grind. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what the ratio should be. But I know what I like, and I'm going to make sure there's a plenty in it. Got to have too much is not enough. That's just my preference. That's what makes it taste good. I don't want a, I don't want a hamburger that ain't got enough fat, fat to fight fights on itself. So now that I've got all the fat mixed or cut up and mixed, uh, like I say, I don't know exactly what the ratio is supposed to be. I just kept putting it in there until it looked good enough to suit me. Uh, I'd rather have too much. It's not enough. Uh, so I've got it cut, got it mixed. Now the next thing to do is turn the grinder on and grind it up. Okay, now that I've got it all ground up, I'm going to take the grinder apart, get all the pieces out of it, and clean it up. And then I like to boil the internal parts uh, of the grinder just to be sure they get clean. There's no meat left over inside. So I'm going to do that, and then we will wrap the meat and get ready for the freezer. Okay, so now I've got it all ground and ready to be wrapped. I'm going to wrap it. I use aluminum foil and put that inside of a freezer bag. And I usually put uh, five burgers to a bag. Uh, there's four to five of us at any given time here to eat. So you can just grab a bag and thaw it out and fry them up. And it's just easier and you don't have to count that way. 
Uh, that way it's wrapped twice. It's wrapped in aluminum foil and it's wrapped in the, the uh, freezer bag. A lot of people food save them or use wax paper or whatever, and that's fine. It works great. Uh, it's just the way we do it. This is uh, quick, cheap, and simple, and that's the way we lie. I like to do it anyway. Uh, I've got a food saver, and I've used it off and on for years, but most of the time when I go to use it, uh, I don't have the bags or whatever, and it works great, but this works good also, and I've done it this way for years, and I'm going to keep doing it this way. So I'm going to kind of guesstimate how many patties and go ahead and roll off a whole bunch of pieces of aluminum foil and start patting them out. So we ended up with uh, 35 hamburgers, deer burgers. Uh, saved these two out for me and her, me and the sweet little wife are gonna have those for lunch. Very productive morning. Mm -hmm. 35 burgers now in the freezer, which is wonderful. Here's your four. We're gonna taste our burger and then we're gonna go eat dinner. I'm gonna, I made Matt put cheese on mine just cause I love cheese. Well, I'm making a hamburger out of mine. Matt's making a hamburger. He's not gonna taste his. We'll go ahead and start making yours. Mm. Mm. Really good. Sort of makes me sad we've been missing out on this all these years. Is it you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause what we did eat was still good. Oh yeah. We've never been crazy about the ground meat. Way back Matt ground some, but we just preferred the other cuts the way we do it. But this year, I guess it was Papa Tony got you started on this. Yeah, he bought a grinder and he wanted to try to grind some of it and make it taste good. And me and him made one really ever liked it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> But what, most of what we had eat was, you know, done by a processing plant or mm. something somewhere. And to me, it's just not as good as it is to do it yourself. Yeah. You, you got more control over making sure it's clean and all the, you know, all the white stuff and connective tissues mm. gone. And then you can add back, you know, the, the kind of fat or whatever or not, just whatever you want yeah. to put in it, you've got more control of it if you do it yourself. Some people like to put pork fat in it. Yeah, I like to, you know, for a hamburger, I'd rather have beef fat. Yeah. But it, it made them taste good. Oh yeah. There's quite so a bit good. of work, but. And we eat hamburgers a lot. We usually eat hamburgers once a week, so this will be perfect. I said, tell Matt, save money and have better meat and more enjoyable and mm -hmm. all that. Matt's just using light bread for his burger there. I've done it all my life. That's good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed spending time with Matt this morning, seeing another way that we're going to put up deer meat for our family. And uh, this year, we're so thankful Matt's got to hunt more. He's got more deer than uh, he has in years past. Mm -hmm. So I think four so far this mm -hmm. year. So we've had more deer meat to work with than the last few years. Yep. Seeming more like the old days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yep. Matt likes that for sure. Mm -hmm. We're always happy when you stop by to help us celebrate Appalachia.